Hey, this is Matt from Investaquant. Today is Friday, September 27th, 2019, and on Monday, it'll be September 30th, 2019, which is the last trading day of the month. So I want to look at a few studies based on trading the last trading day of the month here with you guys uh, real quick. So what I've got set up here is we're looking at the ES S&P 500 E-mini contract. The setup is getting long at the open of regular trading hours and the only thing we're going to add to this initially is just that today is the last trading day of the month so once i click view results it shows us the results of going long at the open of regular trading hours and exiting at the close of regular trading hours on the last trading day of the month uh, you can see the equity curve is pretty poor win rate quite low just 40 percent um scroll down you can see a little bit more stats here. If you go to the monthly table, monthly table is just a sea of red down here. A lot of losing days here on the last trading day of the month when you're going long at the open. So what I want to do is I want to come back up to symbols and settings and I want to change this to a short trade and look at it again based on going short at the open. Uh, when we do that, we see the win rate goes up to 58%. The equity curve starts pointing in the favorable direction. And stats start looking a lot better. Now, a couple things I want to do to zone in on this a little bit more is I just want to add an indicator of closing above the 200-day moving average the day before. So that is what we did here on Friday, which means this would be applicable for Monday. Uh, when you add that above the 200-day moving average, you can see the stats get quite a bit better, still using an end-of-day stop and an end-of-day target and the equity curve gets quite a bit smoother. So overall, going short at the open on the last trading day of the month when above the 200 has been fairly attractive for something so simple uh, with the end of day stop and end of day target. Now lastly, I'm just gonna add a loose stop to this so you can just uh, see what, what it looks like if you cap some risk. So I'm using 60% of the five day ATR here. We run it again and generally uh, pretty similar We've got 148 samples here. 59% of those would be closing below the open since this is a short trade uh, when using a 60% stop and an end of day target. We scroll down, uh, look at some more stats here and the monthly tables. Still a decent amount of red in there, but a lot more green now that we've switched it to a short trade and above the 200. So hope you found that useful. Uh, check back soon and we will do this again.